So, I'm walking towards you to tell you that this is not actually a month of owning the car, but this is near enough to a month of owning the car that I can get with it working. So, I'm going to start off with the bad news and then we're going to do all the good news at the end. So, the RCZ for the five or six weeks I've owned it now, pretty much all of those weeks it's been on axle stands for a variety of reasons. So, I'll run that through with you quick and get the bad stuff out of the way. Now, I'm not saying this car is. <laughs> right, sorry about that. So, I'm not saying this car is unreliable, but I'm going to tell you about my experience and be honest with you. So, first of all, the turbo was knackered. So, the first weekend I spent replacing the turbo. As soon as I replaced the turbo and started it, I then found out that I damaged the top turbo pipe. So, that was the second reason why it was kept on actual stands for a period of time because I had to wait for a new pipe to turn up. So, that was broken. The third thing, only a week later, I was driving it to a meet and I was having a problem with it's smoking. Don't know what it was, but realised my coolant hose was burning up against the heat shield on the turbo that I installed. So I had to replace the pipe for that. That was the third thing. Now, when I thought I'd just got away with all the coolant problems and everything was going great, we had the fourth one, which was the other weekend back when I was driving down to Weymouth and the auxiliary water pump decided to just explode while parked up at a fuel station for literally no reason. So, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a little uh, Thing below here now so you can see it but we're now here on the fifth sixth week of owning the car and it is running sweet so after we had the um, coolant leak um, we then had an oil leak under the turbo as well which was where I had to use a non OEM seal but it's obviously bled through so we had to do the, <laughs> the turbo feed on the bottom was leaking oil as well and then I put new lowering springs on, which we'll talk about in a minute, and the hub and brake fell away from the car and the drive shaft out. So I've also had a gearbox oil leak and a seal change. <laughs> and then we get on to the final one, which is... So that is the end of that. And like I said to you, I'm not saying at all that this car is unreliable. It's been a really good car to own. It's just been a lot of actually very silly things. And pretty much all of those were caused by myself not using the right seals, heat shield rubbing against the pipe, the stuff that I've done myself. So I would say overall the explosion of the coolant pump is the only thing that's been slightly unreliable and that's something that would never ever happen. So the ownership of the car so far has been a bit mad but I'm enjoying the benefits of it now because it's running sweet and going really well. So I'm going to walk around the car. I don't know which way I'm going to walk around the car but this is going to work. So the front of the car, what has been done? Not a total lot to be honest if I'm with you. There's a lot of changes coming with the front end, but we're just going to talk about what's been done in the first sort of month of owning it. So the grill on the front is an SP grill, it used to be chrome, that's been sprayed black, blends in really well with the bumper. On the front here we've got an RDX lip. I'm very happy with the lip, it sits really nice and it's just different to the Maxton lips which are just completely flat that everyone buys. So as we walk down the side of the car, you can see that we have lowered it. Now it's on 30 mm springs on the front and 25 on the back. It sits very weirdly, not how you'd want it to sit to be honest because it's still higher on the front than it is on the back even though the springs are meant to lower it more. It's a bit interesting but there we are. So as you can see down the side we've got the Maxton lip. Very uniform, very universal. Everyone has them but it does suit the look of the car really really well. Window tints have been done, which you'll see as we go around the back of the car, the three rear windows have been done. And we've got some funky tints happening on the front in the future reference. I've got the dynamic indicators, which switch across like that. And I forgot to mention on the front, we have got a sunstrip, which makes the already small window even smaller. Now, one thing you're probably not going to notice is that I've changed the centre caps to a brushed aluminium to go with the fairly old brushed there we go zoom in there look when you get rid of brake dust there we go so that suits it really well with that fits really nice and as you can see i've done the brake calipers as well on the front in red so yeah it's all small touches that help to make the car look how it does so on the back we've got the maxton rear lip and we've got the side spats and as we walk around into the center of the room you can obviously see we've got the window tints but more importantly, we've got this twin, that's a twin four inch. Now that is a back box delete and a center box delete. So there's no 
silences on the car anymore so it isn't very silent but it also isn't very loud to be fair so the reason why i haven't got a quad is because it's just gonna be a fiddle to fit such large tips in a small gap um, and the guy that did it is gonna need me to get the right equipment before we do obviously we've got to cut the rear diffuser and we've also got to find tips that actually fit in there because of how the wheel well sits so there's time for that to be done at some point but it's not that important so the exhaust is done and sounds how it should do now that's the car itself we'll just follow the person will just follow me around and let you have a look around the car see how I've gone black, which just blends. If you zoom out, you can see the black on the alloys, the lip kit. So here we are, guys. On the inside here, you can see we've got some lovely stitch mats. And that is about all that's been done to the inside, but the inside is super clean and is looking really nice. Now, those mats normally retail between £150 to £200. I've got them from a guy that's just bought an RCZ with them in, he didn't like them. So I got them, I think, for around about £60, so a bargain. And also, at the same time, they're not ripped or damaged at all, so they look super sweet. And they just build up the premium look of the inside of the car. So, that's all that's been done for mods so far. So it's not too much, just to mention, in regards to performance anyway. All we've had done so far is literally a panel filter, but I think I'm going to rip out that whole entire system and put in a cold air feed and do a video on that at some point soon. Now, here's the issue. Now, this is the big update, the big part of the update, which is really important. Now, the next stage would have been to have started doing the performance mods, getting the mods ready for the remap and things like that. Now, we've got two issues. At least again, the videos are going to come up. The first one is this engine is lovely. Custom will agree, it drives very nice. It's very peppy. But I do realise, and I do know with this car, they have walnut blast issues, direct injection, build up, carbon build up, which is not good for the engine. Now, I know with this car here, it's at 115,000 miles, and I can bet you it's never, ever been done. Now, I can notice this because I've had these THP engines in various cars, that again, I've all had to have it done. And it just hasn't got the pickup that it should normally have. It's very, it takes a while. Now, you can say it's other things, turbo, etc., but it's got a brand new turbo. And there's no running issues, there's no engine management light, you know, it pulls nice, it pulls really, really well. There's no issues with the turbo or nothing else. It is 100%, I can tell you it's 100%, and you'll see it in the video when we do it, that it needs a walnut blast. And I can imagine the inlets are really bad. So the first step at the end of this month, this will be in for a walnut blast, just to prepare the engine, um, as well as a service and other things for doing performance. So the first thing is, the reason why we haven't gone all out straight away with performance mods, it's because we need to look after the engine to service it and give it a walnut blast first okay now number two um which is probably more of an issue than the walnut blast because the walnut blast can be done whenever the car runs and drives fine but i'm excited for the benefits of that now the second one it's more of a problem this car as far as i'm aware is still on the original clutch or is on a clutch that is very old probably the original clutch which to be fair says a lot about this car if it's still in the original clutch it shows some sort of reliability there with the clutch that is really decent it may have been driven potentially like a granny as well for quite a while but the clutch definitely needs doing now how do i know this the clutch itself is not slipping but it's very high and um, the thrust bearing is fairly noisy when it's warm although these can do this anyway but it's just a sign that it is warm um, and the dual mass if i pull up on the clutch isn't bad but there is a bit of judder there is a bit of movement so that it's obviously warm now it's gonna be a big expense and it is a pain when buying a new car that you have to replace a clutch it's not ideal but this has to come first because what's the point of making the car faster when i can't drive it with no clutch <laughs> so we're going to focus on the clutch first and we're going to do another video on that in due course but what's going to be going on with that is that i'm going to be buying a lightened billet flywheel and i'm going to be buying a pladdle 
paddle clutch. So it's going to be a big spend, it's going to take me a while, but it needs to be done with a genuine Peugeot thrust bearing. So that is the reason why, before you guys ask, I haven't done too much in relation to performance mods. And you know, it's going to take probably till the later stage of the year until that begins happening because we've got to get this car running right. Not that it isn't, but we want to get it running its best before we start putting power through it, which is what we're going to do. So that is sort of how it's going so far with this car and I'm really enjoying the experience. I haven't so much enjoyed the experience with the issues but I think we've ironed out a lot of the niggles and the car has been a very lovely decent car to drive. So you join me in the hairdresser's car. What is it like to drive? Now the GoPro is not going to illustrate how bumpy it is because it's super smooth but if you look at the, my fat cheeks you might get an idea of how much I'm moving in it right now so <laughs> this isn't a review of the car but what I'm saying is don't buy this car if you want the world's most comfortable cruiser it's definitely set up for a sporty ride now these lowering springs have basically just exaggerated that now the handling is insane but comfort wise I mean we're only going 20 mile an hour um, it's not very comfortable, so I will be honest there. But the springs have been good and they've been worth it. So I definitely recommend looking at a set of springs if you don't want to spend big bucks on coilovers. They do improve the handling, but you do obviously inevitably lose comfort comfortableness. Comfortable bit comfort. Comfort. <laughs> That's why I stopped that one. I just tried to split the videos up. So thank you guys for watching this little update. So I'm sorry it's a bit long-winded, but I wanted to explain to you how the car's been, um, what's been going on with it, and what the plans are sort of for the future. So this car here is going to stay. Now, <laughs> don't mark my words because I say this and I end up selling my cars, but I'm hoping this one will stay for quite a long time and you can enjoy the process. So I'll see you in the next video very soon.